Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon. Welcome to your Divine Masculine Weekly Confessions. So today's theme is karma. What your Divine Masculine realizes now. And so how is he realizing certain things about himself, you, this connection is through karma and experiences with partners and all of that. So that's what we're really going to be covering in today's reading. So as usual, I will go ahead and put in the description box down below all the decks I'm using here today, which I believe are all my own, as well as this beautiful organite created by Michelle from Bell's Wing and Bell. So I do tend to channel for those that are experiencing either a separate or a challenge in their connection. So keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, only take what resonates for you and get rid of anything that doesn't. So let's dive into these messages. We're going to take a look and see what type of karmic relationships have come into your divine masculine's life. So let's take a look at those. Okay, so karmic relationships, these could be with karmic partners, these could also be with karmic soulmates, karma playing out between soul family members, friends. Really, it could be anything. So let's go into this. All right. What type of karmic relationships have come into your divine masculine's life? Okie dokie. We have a shadow side energy, which says, I will trigger what you fear the most. So this would probably be a karmic relationship. It could even be a trauma bond uh, that this masculine formed with someone. It does not have to be a romantic situation, um, but whatever this is, it brought out or triggered this fear, mass amount of fear in this divine masculine. So anything that wasn't healed, anything that wasn't resolved, any kind of underlying trauma may have come out in this particular connection. So let's go ahead and get some details here. All right, tell us more, Spirit, about this karmic relationship that has come into these, this masculine's life. Okay, well, I'm getting here that they aligned, them, him and this person aligned at the particular time. They're doing the karmic dance. You see this? Because it says cosmic witch aligned with the celestial dance part of the universal symphony. So it's like the, the stars aligned for um, the masculine and this person to come together. That way he can become triggered by what he fears the most. So, um, you know, that might even be something, of course, that you feel that you experience with this masculine. But remember, you guys, we're focusing on uh, connections that are in addition to the one that you have with your masculine. So let's go ahead and get some details here. Let's go ahead and get some tarot cards just to see what specific details are connecting here with this triggering triggering these fears okay so we have the emperor governance so this is Aries energy. So they could have been dealing with an Aries, but Aries is Mars. Um, there could be competition, okay, with this particular person. So I feel like, and, and remember you guys, this could be anything. It doesn't have to be romantic, but the emperor is all about, you know, being in a p power position and an authoritative position, being in a position of control. And I feel like whoever this, whoever this is or whatever situation this was, this masculine felt like he was going to lose control and that might be what he feared the most. And so perfectly aligned with an individual that may have had better skills. This could have been in the workplace. Somebody may have had something that he wanted for himself. And so this could have triggered some sort of competition, um, some aggression, uh, feelings of low self-esteem, low self-worth, etc. This could have been another masculine in this masculine's life. So it could, it may not have been like a, a female male situation. It might have been a male male situation here. Okay. We do have the three of embers, which is the three of uh, wands in the distance. So basically this is an energy here. I feel where it was like, you know, um, what we want, what we want to accomplish, we feel like it's out of our reach. 
And so I feel like maybe this individual triggered within your masculine something that he really wanted for himself, but felt like he could not, he couldn't have it, or he was going to have to work really, really hard to get it. And maybe it just seems so easy for this individual. They just had it all together. You know, you come across those people in this life where you're just like, wow, it just seems like they have their shit together. They just seem like they just have everything under control. And it starts to make you feel a little uneasy about yourself and the decisions that you've made. So I'm getting that this karmic relationship with this masculine came in to basically, you know, um, I feel wake him up, if, especially if he had certain things he wanted to do with his life, certain goals that he wanted to hit. This person may be a motivator, but what it does is it triggers the shadow side. So it's the com competition, it's jealousy, it's resentment, it's all of these things. So it could be like a like a brotherhood kind of a thing where, you know, somebody comes in as a friend and you guys are connecting and everything's wonderful, but then all of a sudden they turn into a frenemy, somebody who's in competition with you. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel like this situation brought out the masculine shadow side. And we have the king of souls. This is the king of cups. This is Scorpio's energy. We have honorable. It's like doing the honorable thing, you know, acting with integrity, acting honorable, not being shaken by this situation, not being triggered in such a severe way. So I do feel like maybe this particular situation gave this masculine an opportunity to act with, um, act mature act with integrity, not be so jealous, not be so insecure, and just basically take governance of his, of his own life and maybe see this person as an inspiration instead of competition. So I do feel you guys that there was an opportunity and this could go, this could have gone either way for this particular masculine, but someone triggered his biggest fear, which was not being good enough. And he could have made the decision to act mature about it or go into competition with this person. So maybe some of you guys know the situation, maybe you don't, but regardless, it was for maturing purposes because the King of Cups is in control of his own emotions. He cannot be rocked because he has mastered the art of his emotions. He's not dealing with insecurities. He's not, he knows who he is. So things like this, people that come in like this don't shake or rock our foundation because we're comfortable with who we are. And I feel like this is the karmic lesson for this particular masculine. Very interesting so far. All right, let's see what else we have going on here. What type of karmic relationship, what other kind of karmic relationship has come into the divine masculine's life? I don't know why I didn't turn it over. Okay. I will help you open your heart. So that's very beautiful. So this could be a soul family member, maybe even like a soulmate. I did say karmic relationship. So it could be like a karmic soulmate. Okay. Uh, somebody that is going to help this masculine open up his heart space. So th this could be done in a variety of ways. So let's go ahead and get some details on this. Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. This is a spirit animal. So this is not even really a person. I mean, spirit animals, I feel, are souls, of course, that you connect with. It's energy, just like any other soul on this planet. But this particular animal actually helped this masculine open up his heart space to love perhaps unconditionally for the first time. I do believe that, you know, when you have a child or animals, that seems to be the closest that we can just naturally get to experiencing unconditional love. Dealing with, um, you know, people, it's a little bit different. You know what I mean? Because people have the opportunities to hurt us and things like that. But when it's your child, yes, there can still be pain there. But especially with animals, it's kind of hard. To, you just naturally have unconditional love for your pets. So I feel like this is um, helping this masculine to open up his heart and, and to love. So there could be a, an animal that's um, on the other side. So this particular masculine may have lost an animal that was very close to him. And this actually helped him to get in touch with his heart space. Very cool. So let's go ahead and get some of these energies here that popped up for this experience. taught him some sort of a lesson here. Oh, that's beautiful. We have the nine of souls, which is the nine of cups, genie in a bottle. 
Um, this masculine may have had a really difficult time um, with the loss of this pet is what I'm getting here. He may have been extremely attached to that to this animal. And not that that's a, a bad thing. This is just naturally what happens when you love your animals. But I do feel like this actually has helped this masculine get in touch with what he really, really um, loves, uh, what he really enjoys, what's important to him and what's not important to him. Because the Nine of Cups is a card of feeling really good emotionally, feeling really stable and feeling really satisfied with one's life. It may have reminded this masculine that life is just too short, that it's 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 better to count our blessings every single day because we don't know how much time we, we have. Nothing is guaranteed. So I feel like there's something that has shaken this masculine's world and helped him to maybe appreciate and feel, um, you know, and, and open his heart up to experiences where maybe he wasn't doing that before. Maybe he was bottling up his emotions and the spirit animal or losing this animal may have caused this masculine, or this could just be an animal period that's in the masculine's life is helping him to open up his heart space and feel things that he maybe didn't allow himself to feel before. We have the high priestess, sixth sense. Oh, this is interesting. Helping him to get more spiritual. That's just what I got. Helping him to, to get in touch with his intuition, maybe doing some meditation, um, living a more, like being more mindful is what I'm seeing with this too. I definitely feel like this masculine could be meditating for some reason. And it is because of this animal or losing this animal or something that has really triggered this um, uh, to connect more with his higher self and to connect with nature and just the world and be grateful for everyone that he loves that's around him. So that's just what I'm picking up with that high priestess energy. There's like a psychic energy between him and an animal. We have three of, of cups. So this right here, soul family to me. You know how sometimes people will, will say that? It's like a term. You're my spirit animal. So this may not, in fact, be an actual animal, even though it could be for a lot of them. It could be that there is a spiritual teacher or somebody who's very highly evolved in their soul family. I'm not getting romance here. I'm getting soul family with this one. And this is kind of like when they spend time with this person, they feel like they're home. So it's like a friend. It's someone who just gets you. It's a friend where they just know who you are. You don't have to explain things over and over again. They just get you. Um, and I feel like maybe somebody is so evolved, this masculine may look up to this person and want to feel that joy or that happiness that this person has. And so they feel very like at home with this individual or they feel at home with themselves with this spirit animal. It might just be them and their animal and they might just feel completely at home and just satisfied with that existence. So I feel like, you know, when we say karma, sometimes we think, oh, it's negative. It doesn't always have to be that way. You know, karma can be good as well. So I just feel like this masculine is really sitting in his own energy and sitting in his feelings and his heart space because of someone or an animal and really feels like they're coming home to themselves, really tapping into their soul on a deep, deep level. Oh, that's so cool. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and uh, get one more. Let's get one more karmic relationship that's come into the masculine's life to teach him something. Okay, so this, this one would be a negative all right, obsessed. And the first one could have also been negative too, depending on how the masculine um, dealt with the situation. But we have, I will be the object of your desire, okay? This could be a stalker. This could be somebody who became obsessed with this masculine. This could be something that maybe he became obsessed on someone. But whatever it is, it's kind of, uh, it's like a stalker energy. We have the castle, which didn't didn't feel strong. Uh, felt like he wanted to board himself up and hide from maybe this person or this situation. Maybe he got involved with the wrong person is what I'm kind of picking up on here. Uh, maybe messed with the wrong person, got involved with somebody that he didn't really know. This person may have been mentally unhinged or mentally unstable. And it feels like maybe he just wanted to go into his castle and hide is what I'm getting here, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh. So seven of ashes is the seven of pentacles kind of like, okay, I need to recalculate my steps. How the hell did I get here? Okay. What did I do here? 
uh, needing a lot of strength basically to kind of put up a, a wall to keep this person out. So I do feel like this masculine may have got involved with the wrong person, you guys. I really do. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could even just be like a friend. But I do see here that it is probably somebody he was attracted to. So I just, I'm going to recalculate that message. It, I feel like it was romantic. The Queen of Wands is Aries energy. It's very intense. You're very attracted. You're very mesmerized by this person. They look really good on the outside. But let me tell you, something was not as it seemed. Um, it looked good on the outside, right? Like when we look at the castle, it looks really good, but maybe we go inside and it's a mess. So I definitely feel like this person was very intense, very fiery, became very angry with this masculine, a lot of Mars energy here, okay? Um, oh, interesting, see, wanted to run away wanted to to seek sanctuary from this person or situation i definitely got that with the castle um so i do feel that way i feel like um ran for the hills from this person got involved with someone and they they, they miscalculated their steps and um, they ended up being in a situation with somebody that may have chased them stalked them made their life a living hell and they needed to hide maybe even I put a restraining order on someone actually is what I'm getting here. So why don't we go ahead now and get some of this um, karma here. What are some of these experiences that they went through? Let's look at this. What kinds of experiences. Okay. These ones just came out. So I guess we'll take it. Why not? Right. Okay. We've got stood up. Interesting. I feel like they stood up someone. They got involved with the wrong person. And instead of being maybe honest with them, instead of acting with integrity, I do feel like they acted foolishly and they stood someone up. And that might be what have like just ghosted someone. And that's what angered this individual to become stalker like. Now we also have discontent. Yeah. So just kind of feels like, you know what, maybe. Maybe I'm just not cut out for love. Maybe I'm just not cut out for happiness or relationships. It never works out for me. And see, this person dug their own grave. So your masculine basically undertook the situation and had to dig their own grave. It was just dead. And see, failures in a, in a minute, like a rock slide. Climbing up a mountain, you know it's unstable, and then everything just falls. I do feel like your masculine tried to leave the situation before things got too crazy. And I just feel like what ended up happening is he ended up attracting somebody that made his life, I feel, a living hell. So some of you guys may know about this. Others of you may not know that. All right, let's go ahead and get some more details here. Interesting. It could have been somebody who they got involved with because, again, they looked really good on the outside. Maybe they had a nice car. They had a, a home. The castle did come up right? And that 10 of pentacles, which is established. So there could have been someone with money and maybe this particular masculine got involved with someone for all the wrong reasons. But I do feel like they ended up messing with the wrong person. I do. And yep, when it came to communication, uh, it could have even been a smear campaign. It could have been um, they posted something about this masculine and they tried to ruin their reputation or it was just continuous like creating fake accounts to spy on this masculine or send him unwanted communication is what I'm getting here. Okie dokie. And then we have mirror. So what it did is it, it caused this masculine to really look at the mirror or look in the mirror and really reflect on how things got to this point, how it got out of control, what he could have done differently, kind of that seven of pentacles. How could he have recalculated his, his steps and done something different? And then we have birds, see? Conversations, gossip, and anxiety. So to me, this is definitely um, other people talking about your business, other people getting involved that's unnecessary, putting something out on social media for other people, airing people's dirty laundry. There's something here. And what it did is it caused this masculine to really rethink um, maybe doing something like this again or getting involved with someone like this or just 
you know, making a mental note that this is a red flag or something about this individual. I'm not doing that again. So there's some kind of karma here that was very uncomfortable, I feel, for this masculine to have to deal with. Ooh, demons in disguise. Yeah, so I just feel like, um, you know, again, we think that we've hit the jackpot. We think something's great, but actually it ends up, and I'm not saying like this person was a demon, but that's just a figure of speech. This masculine may have gotten to a point where it's just like, wow, this is a demon in disguise. They really disguised who they truly were. I fell for something where I just didn't take the time to get to know this person. Yeah, misery loves company here. Um, I just feel like, Maybe this person was trying to buy the masculine and maybe the masculine could be bought to a point, but there's something where I do feel it caused depression. It was like an extreme high and an extreme low for this masculine. And I feel like maybe things took a turn for the worst very quickly. Yep. Whatever foundation was being built, it just got burned up. So we've got charcoal remains with the four of wands. They may even had to move out of this person's home or they moved this person in with them. It could be that. Um, and it was difficult to get them out or it was just like, oh my God, it ruined somebody's credit or it was just a nightmare of a situation because someone had legal ties to someone because of a decision that they made with a home. And we do have the emperor. So there's somebody that's in charge though. There's a female, a feminine energy of someone who with a lot of money who, who again, we th the masculine thought that there was going to be something good here, but the investment did not turn out to be a good one. And um, at the end of the day, all the masculine was left was was uh, with a bunch of just charcoal remains, just burned. It could have been burned. Um, he may have gotten burned from this person, or he burned this person, and then there was hell to pay later on. All I know is that this was not a pleasant situation. So. This is, I feel, probably tied to that very last one, which was the stalker, okay? So now let's see what was the takeaway in those situations at the end of the day. So what was it all for? Did this masculine actually learn anything from this? Um, you know, has he grown and healed from these experiences? Has he matured? Is he seeing things differently now? What's the deal? Okay. So we have the vulture, right? So what does the vulture do? The vulture senses death and flies around and might even start eating you as you're dying. So um, it, it's kind of like, you know, the vultures come in. You know, you have that saying when somebody's dying, right? Like a, like a parent or a grandparent, the vultures come in trying to figure out what they're going to get in the situation. So I just feel like that kind of mentality of using people or just, you know, trying to figure out what you can get from someone. Maybe this has ended for this masculine. Maybe he has turned over a new leaf. Maybe he's learned this very valuable lesson the hard way. Um, it's not worth it, obviously, to, to it, it's the wrong thing to do. But when you use people and you abuse people, Things don't work out for you. There's usually some negative consequence that's going to come your way. So it may be that this masculine has ended that side of himself that uses people to get ahead or uses people for things such as money or status. This could have ended for him. So that would be a really good karmic lesson here that's been learned. Oh boy. Yeah. Krampus. <laughs> you know, Krampus is the story of, you know, St. Nick, St. Nicholas comes in and gives you good things. Krampus will come in and punish the hell out of you for being a bad boy. And I just feel like this right here, there was, been, there's like a major discipline, disciplinary action here for this masculine. In the end, this is pretty much what the masculine took away from this is that, you know what? I shouldn't have done this. I should not have made this move. Had I not done this, then this would not have happened. So it's not about blaming other people. He is, I feel, taking responsibility and looking at his, like looking at his actions in the situation. So that's, I feel, a positive. Yep. And then finding his way once again. 
So picking yourself back up, ending what's not working and moving towards looking at a higher perspective, seeing that there is light at the end of the tunnel, um, finding his way once again, maybe without feeling like he needs someone to basically give him a helping hand. He's going to do it himself. That's what we're seeing so far. So anyways, you guys, we are going to continue the rest of these messages over on the extended reading. We're going to take a look and see what behaviors of the past developed karma between you and your divine masculine. So we're going to see the karma between the two of you. Then we're going to get the direct karma that the masculine has experienced because of whatever happened to you guys. Also, how did those experiences ultimately uh, aid him in his healing and ascension process? What's the most important thing he's realized about you in this connection and and his final words and thoughts he would like to confess to you today about everything so if you guys would like to join me over there i will put that link in the description box down below where you guys can access that video thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you over there take care bye bye